Hello, my name is Yonis Dizok, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple software application by using Visual Basics and also show you how to export this software application in order to generate an .exe file which can be installed on uh, as many computers as you like. To get started, I'll launch Visual Studio. In this case, I'm using Visual Studio 2019 and then create a new project. Make sure and show that the project that we are going to use now, let's select from the languages, we're going to use uh, Visual Basics. And I'm going to select Visual uh, Windows Form Application, the .NET Framework. And click Next. I'm going to name my uh, application Show Hide. And I'm going to locate my desktop in this case. I'm just going to call it folder VB. And then click select. And then click create. The next thing I need to do is go to the internet. And I'm just going to find, I'm going to search for an icon. So I'm just going to type icon finder. Click the first option. I'm just going to type lion here and then select free. I'm going to select the picture that I like and then I'm going to click download PNG. I'm going to click on the drop down list here, show in folder. I'm going to control C or right click and copy. I'm going to go to my desktop find the folder that I've created, VB folder. I did create a VB folder that I put on documents. Uh, let's create another folder here. Hmm, documents, okay, desktop. That's better. VB folder. I'm just going to paste this picture. Now I'm going to go to a different website called Icon Converter. I'm going to click on the iconconverter.com. I'm going to choose my picture. Go to the desktop, VB, and double click on the picture. I'm going to click upload, scroll down to step number five and convert to icon. I'm going to click on the download your icon, click here, show in folder, right click and copy this icon. I'm going to go to the desktop again, double click on VB folder and I'm going to paste this icon. Okay, I've got my icon and I've got my picture. I'm going now to my project. It's going to display the toolbox on the left hand side here. Okay, so I'm going to click here the form ones. Let's exit this. So still building the files on the background. So I'm going to expand the all Windows forms and I need for this project I need two buttons. and a picture box. I'm going to click and drag to make the picture box a bit bigger. So I'm going to click on the little play icon here. I'm going to choose an image. I'm going to select import. And then I'm going to click on double click on the picture and click OK. Then I'm going to click again on the icon, on the play icon. I change the size mode to stretched. So now if I click and drag, all right. So let's push these buttons a bit to the left, to the side of the picture box. Now I'm going to select the first picture box. I'm going to change that to hide. I'm going to select the second picture box. I'm going to change it to show.
I'm gonna click here and change the text value for the form to show and hide image. I'm going with the form still selected. I'm gonna scroll up or down until I find the icon section. Click on the three dots and replace the current icon with my icon here. That's good. Then with again uh, the form selected, you can change the background color. So you can scroll further up, back color, select web so you have more options. And you can actually select the color of your choice. You can do the same for every single object. You can change the colors of the buttons, etc. etc. I'm going to double click now on my project from the Solution Explorer, my project. I'm going to click on the default icon. I'm going to select Browse, locate my desktop, my BBB folder, and I'm going to double click on this icon. So I've got the icon here on the project. I'm going to go back to the design view now and double click on the hide button. Now my picture box is called picture box one. I could change the name, but I'm just going to leave this as a default. The name of the picture box is called picture box one. So this is important to remember. So I can go back to the code view now. Okay, to go to the code view, double click on the object. And within my private sub for the button one, I'm just going to type here picture box. So as soon as I start typing PIC, picture box one dot uh, hide. I press the enter key. So I'm going to go back to the design view, double click on the show button, and I will say PIC, double click on picture box one dot show. And now if I click play, I will be able to actually see, test if my software works. So hide, show, hide, show. Okay, it's working fine. So I'm going to stop the project now and I'm going to go now to uh, a file, save all. Then I'm going to go to build, select publish, show, hide. And I'm just going to browse the uh, my desktop. I'm going to create a new folder. Simple app, show, hide. And click open. And then click finished. I can minimize this now. So my project is built now. So simple app, show hide. I could actually double click here, show hide application. The installation process will begin. Install. As you can see, my icon is there. And the application is installed. Hide, show. And if I minimize everything, I will be able to go here. And I should be able to see my uh, application. If you don't see your application, just basically type here, show hide. Click on it. And then your application will run. So this is how simple it is to develop a simple software application and export and install the software application to as many computers as you like. So I could, well, I could, I could actually put this uh, folder into a pen drive and distribute this to uh, different people and each person will be able to install the software application on their computers. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video tutorial. Bye. Bye.